The next part is going to take place on the computer in the lab. Now in the lab, there's only the one desktop computer that's connected to the laser. So please make sure that everything is correct from your laptop or your desktop in the classroom first. That way we're not taking up too much time on this desktop in the lab. So we have our file on our flash drive and we bring ourselves over. We're going to come over here and open up this program called RD uh, Works V8. Now that we're in the Boss Laser program, it pops up with our screen and we need to import our file. So plug, plug in your flash drive if you haven't already and click that import button. From here, you might need to use the drop down to navigate to the correct flash drive. And then your DXF file should show up. Double click on it to import it. And here we are. Now the correct size for your phone stand should be about 253 millimeters tall by about 76 millimeters wide. If you're not seeing these numbers in this spot right here, that could be because you didn't save it correctly in Inkscape. You can either go back and resave it in Inkscape or you can try to resize it here. After that, we're going to go ahead and make sure that the X and Y location of the center point of our phone stand is at 250X, 175Y. If our phone stand's in that location, then when we put our piece of wood on the laser bed, we'll see that there's a tape outline of where you should place your phone stand so that we make sure we laser on our wood. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our position down here is at absolute coordinate. We want to change it to absolute coordinate so that way our laser actually lasers out starting from that center point at 251.75. If it's set to something else, we might not be engraving on our piece of material. Then we need to go over here to make sure that our settings for our laser's intensity are set correctly. We do not need our laser at full, at full power, but we are gonna have it at full speed. So over here, we should see that our output, yes, will be at a speed of 100. Our minimum and maximum powers should be at about 30%. That's gonna give us a good dark line and it's not gonna cut all the way through our wood. Once we've got that ready to go, we can go ahead and put our material on the laser bed, close the lid, and then click start.